Hello guys and girls, I'm doing a little bit of a different video today, just sparked by my previous video if you've seen it, a little bit ranty, I do apologise about that. This video is basically what it's going to be like as a new player. It's not something I've done since I started playing. Um, you know, I've never really had that new experience. So let's see what it's like being a new player. Now, as I said in my previous video, I've had two friends try and join the game and they immediately quit. So let's see what it's like being a new player when you start the game. So straight away we can see that the French tags aren't available for new players. Okay, so that's interesting. So let's go Jap uh, uh, Japan because their starting tanks are absolutely awful. Um, I want to go for a tech tree that's relatively bad. Um, so let's get the reward. So this is what we're introduced with straight away. Get a loot box and okay we get a 30% booster, that's, that's quite useful. So let's do the tutorial. Um, let's have a look see how this tutorial goes. Okay, so we're in a, a T50, I think we are. So... Begin moving forward. Follow the waypoints to the firing area. So we get taught in arcade mode, obviously. So we'll move to our location. is the firing range. I vaguely remember doing something like this way back when. In the lower right corner, you can see a mini-map which shows your tank is an arrow. It also shows the position of your enemies and allies as icons. Okay. Your opponent this time, a training target, is the red icon on the map. Your allies' icons are blue. Okay, basic stuff then. You can see several markers on the screen. The cursor, which the turret of your tank follows, the marker indicating the direction of the tank cannon, and the crosshairs that shows where the tank shell will hit. Take into consideration that the mouse aiming cursor is not a gun sight and only serves to help you turn the tank turret in the right direction. You should not shoot without waiting for the tank turret to align itself with the opponent. If you want to hit the en if you want to hit the enemy tank, wait for the turret to turn towards the opponent. Align the crosshair with the target. It will change color. Very uh, low quality video. Um, this is this is on high settings, by the way. It just it is just really low quality video. Um, so. basic firing tutorial here switch to gunner view you can use zoom to get a the aim assist indicator in the center of the screen shows where the shell will strike when you fire a shot it turns red if the current shell cannot pierce the armor yellow if it is possible to pierce and green if your shell can easily pierce the depending on your target's armor so basic um, arcade stuff here, so that's fine. One of the best ways to destroy a tank is to put its crew out of action. Move the reticule over the central area of the tank. Now, fire at the fighting compartment on the tank. When a shell penetrates armor, the x-ray window appears in the top right So basic x-ray stuff, so just the basic stuff here. Enemy tank is considered destroyed. So I'll skip Great. through this a little bit. If there was any crew in this vehicle, they would be in big trouble. Now, switch to third-person view. Most armored vehicles have... 
have their engines at the rear. Continue by moving the reticule onto the rear of the indicated tank. Now, switch to gunner view and fire at the tank engine. So basics of like taking out a tank, if fires. Engine, ammo rack or fuel tanks inside the tank. Good job. Move on to another cabanier. Cut off. You can see a marker above the So the basics the of capping and things like that. Okay, so it's pretty pretty self-explanatory really, like it's just your basic stuff, but it is in arcade mode. Um so it gives you the idea for arcade mode. Okay, so we're going to learn about capping the zone. To capture the point, you must drive into the capture zone. The border of the cap... Your tank has reached the indicated point, but you can't capture the zone while it still has enemy vehicles in it. Destroy the enemy tank. Great! You destroyed the enemy. Okay, it's pretty easy stuff. So pretty self-explanatory, really. It's pretty basic stuff. So the basics of this sort of area, just capping and things like that. Okay, so that that's all you get for tutorial. There's no information about armor or anything like that protecting yourself is just the basics on shooting the gun. So you get a hundred golden eagles and five uh, five thousand lions. Um, so we will have our first battle and course arcade straight away so you, you always get the arcade mode for it first of all so this is basically just what your life's going to be like um, abandoned factory okay thank god I was hoping it wasn't going to be bloody um, Maginot line again abandoned factory is not too easy so there's nothing about the ammunition or the armor things like that so if we were a new player we wouldn't really know too much about that aspect. So we start with the IK go, I, the I go co, I suppose, because that's what we had. Doesn't explain about spawning in different spawn points or anything like that again. So let's see how we go. Sort of see who we're fighting with. So, some low levels, so that's good. You know, just some new players. I won't go looking through everybody. Um, a bit of an idea. So, you know, we'll be a typical noob and just be like, oh yeah, look, the A point, we'll just head towards that. Um, Attention to the map. So, as I said, the majority of my friends wanted to play in realistic battles as well. They didn't want to play the um, arcade mode because. They had been playing World of Tanks for a long time, and were just like, yeah, I want something more realistic. I suggested War Thunder to them. The army controls most of the strategic zones. I've got an LVT there. Of course, we don't have the uh, firepower to get that wall down. 
Oh yay, starting off in a new tank. So, we'll scooch behind here. Oh crap. Hello. So, as I say, with this reserve tank, we're pretty much doomed. It's not an easy tank to play. We don't get taught about bringing in reserve um, crew members or anything like that, so that's something that we just have to learn as we go. Same with the repairs and things like that. Again, there's no explanation of the repairs. So again, if you were, you know, just starting out, it would be very difficult in that aspect. You may just think, oh, okay, well, what's this then? Again, artillery is something we don't have information about. T26 down there. It's just dead. Okay. Got first kill at least, but we are in some serious trouble here. We're about to get very flanked. And that's the end of us. So, if we were a new player, you're not going to have a great first run in a Japanese tank, of course. Now, I'm choosing the Japanese because they are hard to play. So, we've got enough to spawn in again. Now, being an arcade match, it's just, you know, very chaotic and there's not really much strategy involved. It's just to see who can kill who first. You know, arcade is fun, but it's, it is a little bit, um, it's a little bit, as I say, a bit, bit chaotic sometimes. Um, so, you know, if you were one of these people that, you know, you, you want to play these, the French tanks or the Japanese tanks or something like that, you're a... You know, you might be a national or, you know, you find them interesting, things like that. Okay, so we've got plane mode. So again, we've not been taught anything about planes. We've just found out that we can start a battle through press 7. No more information than that. Um, so if, I imagine if we were actually doing this first time, we'd probably be a bit wonky and just be like, what the hell's going on here? just sitting in the way of this bloody B-18. So pretty self-explanatory for planes as well as I say, but you know, if you were new to it, you may just find it very, um, very tricky to be knowing what's going on really. Um, because well, for one, I'm in a British plane, so why am I in a British plane when I'm playing Japanese tanks. That would be very confusing, I'm sure, for somebody that's new. Um, and also, you'd probably not know about the fact that there's a time limit. You know, it, it's all things that are very confusing. So there's not really much in the way of explanation in that regard. Um, let's say the aiming system is pretty... Um, pretty hard to know about straight away. Um, we're about to get absolutely wonked here by a Tetarak. Oh, we managed to get him. Um, so, you know, a new player would probably have a very tricky time exploring this whole um, system because it's very, it's very different to what you'd be used to. Um, green there and we just hit the track so again probably a little bit confused in that respect LVT behind the wall there and again it was green and we didn't do any damage so again that would probably be a bit confusing um, as, as I said there's no real um, information on what's happening you know you, you, you're probably not that 
clued up to what's going on. Um, and this LVT, as I said, you know, you're firing at it and you're thinking, well, why the hell am I not killing it? It said when it's green, I can kill it. Um, you know, there's not really much information on the crew levels. And we are dead now. Um, so you do get the fire extinguisher at least with this. But, again, we've really got no... There's not much information. Now, a new player might get a good game like this. Who knows? You know, it's hard to say, really. Because it all depends on people's skill. But, we've pretty much got obliterated. It was a pretty fun first game. You know, look, I top of the scoreboard, which I'd kind of imagine I'd be higher up there. You know, we're fighting with a lot of new people at least. Um, so it looks like everybody is pretty much new in this regard. So that's good. It's not um, it's not pairing people up, you know, against higher level players. So the skill set's quite low in that regard. Um, so, you know, we're all level zero, things like that. Looks like a lot of people are, you know, just new to the game. So that's good in that respect. You know, you're not getting up-tiered in that respect to, to play with true players. So that's your experience of the game first time in arcade. But let's see. Um, let's see what happens after this. So, okay, we we get the premium tank as well. Um, so that's kind of nice. So we get given a premium tank, um, and th those credits that we earned before is exactly what we needed for the premium tank. So you get the the base level premium tank, things like that. Okay, that's kind of neat. You know, it's kind of nice to get something for free, things like that. So we get all the rewards, um, you know, all the information there. So we get to see, you know, okay, we've got all of this stuff. Again, really not that explanatory. Um, we see we get some lions. Okay, interesting. And we get the, you know, Facebook, you know, all that stuff. So that's the end of the tutorial, basically. Um, yeah. So we've got the plain tutorial as well, which we can get some uh, another 100 golden eagles for that one. So again, that's something else for people to do. I'm not really looking at that because I want to have a look at the tanks. So, realistic. So we've had our first game. We think, okay, that's pretty neat. Um, we can actually play as the French now, um, as you can see. We just couldn't start. Obviously, they've not updated the system to start you with French straight away, so that's kind of an interesting little uh, little side note there. Um, but I imagine you get the uh, Cambrion as the starter one. So these low BR um, premium tanks, so the uh, A13, things like that, obviously you get gifted them when you start the game new, which is kind of nice, I guess. It's kind of a nice little gift. You know, it's not anything groundbreaking, but it's an extra tank to have. Okay, so we'll carry on with our... Well, actually, we're going to go to the French, because we've just heard that the French are released. We, we were like, okay, awesome, we can actually play the French now. So we've had our first game in our Japanese tank. We'll activate the booster. And, you know, all my friends play Realistic Battle, and I've heard it's interesting, so let's play some Realistic Battle. So let's see how this goes. And this is what I want to see, this is the interesting part for me, because I just want to see, well, what a new player experiences first time in a Realistic Battle. So... Obviously lots of people are going to want to go for the French, um, because it's new shiny. You know, they may be a slight returning player, say, they've not played in a while. There is always that that option. So, we get um, Ash River. Okay, not too bad of a map, I guess. 
again at least it's not Maginot line which I've been getting on my main account for oh god far too much but let's see how we go so we've got the AMC 34YR and the H35 those are our two vehicles both reserve tanks I uh, might take out the AMC just because I've got that slightly bigger gun um, again we've not been told anything about ammunition or anything so there's no details about that and there's no details to the spawn as well so again we probably wouldn't really know too much about the spawning all we know is we've got to capture A now there's no tutorial saying in realistic battle the name tags don't pop up there's no information for new players that that doesn't exist so again when you're going into realistic battle unless you've sort of read up a little bit on it you're sort of going in a bit blind so again I imagine that would be hard now let's see who we're playing against here so we've got a level 100 um, you know so we've got experienced players in this game now so we're basically in a game with very experienced players straight off the bat and this is our first realistic battle remember we've not done anything and of course we get the fantastic um, fantastic chatter of people who are new to the game that's what you want to see when you first join the game is you know this kind of bullshittery um, but anyway there's no real you know we've not been told anything um, we've not been given any information um, there's no real details on what realistic battle is compared to a normal battle so we're very much at a disadvantage here as I say if I was a new player I wouldn't really know that there was no name tags because again that's not something that's um, that's placed up there obviously some artillery going on in the A at the moment so we will avoid that there's nothing about the map pinging um, maybe up on the sniper hill I can see at the moment let's try and make a break for it so as I say if we were new and um, we've not been taught about the binoculars either all we know is zoom so there's no real detail on any of the main controls and we're taken out by a, a wizardly this guy's a level 100 I'm pretty sure he's like high up there because I've I'm only level 32 actually but I've played with wizardly lizard before I know that name um, so that's your first experience of a realistic battle and as you can see here we've got Panzer 4 C's so we are in the starting tank the lowest BR tank with nothing no experience and we're playing against people in Panzer 4 C's so you know we're, we're very unlucky with the matchmaker here so yeah that would be the experience of a new player coming in for the first time and playing realistic battle there's no real tutorial on RB there's nothing there to say what RB is and why it's different so yeah I really think that this needs to be changed and there needs to be a better tutorial system and a better way for players to start out the game we get the upgrade information here okay so um, get a little bit of information on that on the actual research system but there's you know unless we hover over it we don't really get a full detail of what it is um, I really think the whole system needs an overhaul and as I've said you know playing my reserve tanks on my normal account I've been getting in battles on the Maginot line many times and friends that I've had play and quit quite quickly again I've had that same issue that same issue um, now of course 
the French and the Japanese are the hardest trees to start in, and if you're new to the game, I would advise not doing it. Um, I'm thinking maybe I'll do a tutorial video for new players. Uh, just keep it updated after every major change really I think that might be an idea let me know below what you think on that one but let me know also what you think on Gaijin should they do a better tutorial system because at the moment it's very well, it's not very good um, there's little bits and bobs but there's nothing major there um, in realistic battle as you saw I was there was a level 100 player in the game so that was my second ever match on this account, you know, considerably I could be a brand new player and this is going to be your experience as a new player, you don't know anything about RB other than the fact it's a more realistic mode. You're not taught the differences in the tutorial, it's just arcade battles, which look, it is a good way of starting of course, but you know, if you're brand new to the game you're not going to know those differences, you're not going to understand what's happening, and, you know, it's all well and good, us knowing, you know, this tank has such and such gun, such and such penetration, such and such armour, but we know that because we've been playing the game for years, we also have interest in the history, things like that. A more casual audience is not going to really understand that aspect without being taught and told. Now, of course, they may look up guides online, but without that real first tutorial, you're going to start playing this game and think, oh wow, this is really not good. You're going to think the game isn't good because, well, you're just getting absolutely wrecked every single match. And this is what's happened to my friends, as I say, in um, in the realistic mode. They just, every game they've been annihilated because they're brand new to the game. And as we see, a level 1 can face a level 100 player which again should be something that is considered into the matchmaker. Um, I'm just interested to see what map we get next. So this is our third game. Uh, we'll see how this goes and see sort of what battle rating we come up against next time round. Um, we were fighting... Well, actually, we'll just cancel that for a second. It's Panzer IV... What is the Panzer IV? Panzer IV C. So the Panzer IV C, so 1.3 battle rating tank there. So we, you know, we were at least 1.3. I think, you know, that can be pretty rough. You know, it, it's not completely unfair, but it's, it can be pretty, it, it's pretty disturbing seeing these tanks first of all. Um, considering these reserve tanks were fighting, you know, the Panzer IIs and stuff like that, which we don't, really have in the game other than the uh, premium. Um, we've got the Panzer free and things like that of course but yeah it, it's it is very unfortunate to have that kind of thing. Um, so we'll just do we'll see if we can get one more game and see what what we sort of look like in that respect. Um, of course if we were new to the game we'd have no idea that we could bring planes into realistic battle unless we actually read up elsewhere on it, you know, it, there's no tutorial talking you through the difference of a realistic battle and how you can get planes in that as well. Um, so the tutorial is very lacking and this video is going to go on a little bit, as I said it's going to be a bit of a longer video, um, but I really want to get an idea of what a new player's experience is like because yeah, it just really interests me. Um, before you ask as well, I've not actually linked this to my main account, or I've not done a friend, you know, that you get money and gold and eagles and all that stuff for your um, primary account. Um, it's just, just an account I just made up quickly just to see what happens, because I'm just interested to see what a new player's experience is. Um, because as I said, I've not experienced that really ever. Um, when I first started playing War Thunder, you know, I, I played a little bit of it in uh, beta and stuff like that way back when, and, you know, I'd played predominantly been playing uh, World of Tanks and stuff like that. So I had a base understanding of the arcade system, but the realistic battle threw me out first of all, and I, I had no idea what I was doing. Um, I didn't know about binoculars for at least a month or so, 
took me a long time to work out there was binoculars in the game. Um, many of the controls I didn't really know about. And I, I mainly flew planes at the start, of course, because there was no ground forces. But, you know, I, I sort of cut my teeth in R Air RB, and I, I predominantly flew bombers. Um, so that was the majority of my gaming was flying bombers and stuff like that. Um, because that's what I enjoy doing, because I'm a weirdo. But when I started playing tanks, I was really thrown out because I had no clue. And of course, I watched some tutorials and videos on how to actually play the game. But there was no proper introduction in the game. There was no tutorial system to give me an idea. And I must admit, Wargaming have done a much better job of their initial phase of getting a player into the game you know that that first game in world of tanks you know you sort of you're playing against pve and you don't realize it of course you're sort of like oh wow and then you sort of gradually get introduced to pvp and it's not such a big shake up also you know you're not getting one hit very often um you've got tanks that because it's a hit point system obviously it's a little bit more it's a bit more involved, but the maps are much smaller in that game as well. You know, you don't have giant maps which can take, you know, five, ten minutes to get across, um, or even halfway across in some of these tanks. Um, so it is interesting in that respect. You know, a new player coming into War Thunder is really, well, they're thrown under the bus, so to say. And I, I do really feel for these new players because, wow, they must have a really torrid time. Um, you know, it's a very difficult, different experience. It's something that, as I said, if I had just started this game and this was my first experience of the game, I would be a bit put off because, well, battles like that last one, that's pretty much what you're going to have most times as a new player you know not knowing about the mechanics and things like that and of course when I say you know learning stuff you will better yourself but you're really gonna have a torrid time and there's nothing they they need to redo the tutorial basically they need to make a better tutorial system um, as you can see there's a bit of waiting time here as well uh, it, it's quite late at night in most countries it's Australian time so as you can see, there's lots of people playing the French as well, so being RB, there's less players for other nations. Um, there's quite a few players online still, so we should probably get a game very shortly. Um, so yeah, if I was brand new to this game, I would be really having reservations. And, you know, you see all the cool things down the track, but the grind is so hard in tanks you know especially for the french that if you were if you're one of those people that's like oh man i really want to play the french because you know obviously there's a lot of french people out there there's a lot of people that play french in other tank games um the french are quite fun in those other tank games so you sort of go oh yeah the french are awesome you come to War Thunder and the French tanks are nothing like they are in those other games. Um, the H-35, for instance, is pretty much a beast in World of Tanks, but in War Thunder it's very, very weak and not very good. Um, you know, so it really does make a difference. Now, gosh, a long old wait time here. Um, that's always the other issue of course is the waiting t time for, for games there we go finally we got a game um, and it's the Maginot line so three games in this is my third game on a new account and it's the Maginot line in two reserve tanks in a battle mode oh wow that's really harsh so we'll take out the Hotchkiss um, so yeah um, yeah if you were playing this for the first time boy oh boy would you be in for a shock 
Um, let's just... So, let's just play the noob card. So, yeah, this is just, this is the kind of problem that my friends were having. And let's see some of the enemy players. So let's see what levels we're facing up here. Level 100. Okay, so first player card we look at is level 100. So there's a squad of these guys, and I imagine, yep, level 42. Level 82, you know, some experienced players. Um, level 94. Level 46. Level 4, okay, we've got one player that's much lower than us. Um, well, not lower than us, but basically new. So I've typed into the team chat what to do, so I'm just going to follow the other tanks because I guess that's what a new player would do in this situation, but nobody's really said anything to aid me in that respect. Um, let's see on our team what we've got. So some sort of mildly experienced players there. Um, there's, a, there's a level zero as well, so another new player. Um, relatively new players. So, okay, experienced players, you know, we've got some experienced players, but there is a three-man squad of very experienced players on the enemy team, and, yeah, because they're, they're a proper squad, um, yeah, that, that's, uh, that's pretty harsh. Um, so it looks like, you know, we, we would really be in trouble, you know, like, and as I said, if I'm a new player, this, you know, I don't know about, I don't know about maxing forwards, so I would be pressing W right now just to go forwards, um, so I'm in the Hotchkiss, you know, I'm heading towards B, I've got no idea about the map, I, I'm basically playing blind, all I know about is the zoom function on my gun. So I don't know about binoculars. Um, you know, this is my third game, you know. So I know a little bit about aiming, but I've not been taught anything about aiming in RB. So I don't know that there's... You know, I've not been told that there's no marker. Um, again, I'm basically flying blind here. Uh, it looks like we are about a 1.3 battle rating. Um, so we are not too high up on the BR of it all. Um, but let's see how well we go in this battle. You know, it's kind of interesting to see how this goes as a new player. And as I said, you know, that three-man squad on the enemy team um, coming in for the SEAL club, uh, they've got an extra man in their team actually now. Um, another level 94. So, four man squad there. Um, all above like level 45, I'd say. You know, that, that's going to be pretty hard to take. You know, they're going to be very experienced players. You know, if we're not experienced, what are we going to do? So, that BT5 has been taken out. So, they're in. Looks like they're all in MA Greyhounds, of course. So, that's going to be even more fun. So, we're looking around, we're trying to work out what's going on. Uh, as I said, we don't know about our binoculars. I can see shots being fired, but I can't see any tanks. Can't really see anything going on, you know, and because I'm not using binoculars, it is very hard to sort of see anything as well. There we go, I see some movement to the right there. So... There's an LVT, I think. Um, so, shot's a bit short, but again, there's no... 
there's no marker, so I don't really know what I'm doing here. Again, it's just, you know, if I was new, then... Again, it's just, you know, working out sort of what you have. Um, you know, you would really just be blind firing a bit and not and hoping for the best, I suppose. So that LVT is going into cover. Now, we've probably had a bit of a disadvantage here because we're going to get flanked by those M8s very shortly. Um, okay, there's a Greyhound there. Take out his wheel, but we don't do any real damage to him because wheels aren't affected in game. Another Greyhound there. A non penetration. And we're taken out with ease. So, yeah, so we got seal clubbers and greyhounds. Um, yeah, that's your experience as a new player. That's what you're going to experience as a new player in RB. And as you can see, there's no real help from the team there. So an interesting sort of look at how it goes. Well, let me know below what you think. Um, and I will catch you next time. This has been a bit of a horrifying look at how the start of the game goes for new people. Alright guys, until next time. This is Screezilla, or the Frog of Doom, I think I've called myself today. Uh, the Frog of Doom, over and out. And uh, yeah, I really do not envy new players. See you guys. Bye-bye.